And then what I normally do with a plate, like say this one, I did these two in silver, then, then it has to dry overnight, and then I printed these two elements the next day, otherwise the wet ink all merges together. My stepdad, who built this studio, had a heart attack summer before last, and was very traumatic, and then, so last summer was his anniversary. So I had done a series of etchings called Open Heart, all about the idea of the vulnerability of your life and your heart and your ribs and how traumatic surgery is and all that stuff. So I wanted to do something kind of commemorating his first anniversary. So I knew I wanted an old dress, so I went to Savers. I bought this prom dress, and then you saw how I did with the press. I just rolled ink on it, and I <laughs> printed it. <laughs> because see how it looks kind of like ribs? So I printed the dress. Before I printed it, though, I took this old plastic football, and I stuck it in there to give the image of a um, of a sand dial. What's it called? You know, uh, hourglass. Hourglass. Thank you. <laughs> sand dial. <laughs> hourglass. So that's another element of time and all that. So I did the dress, and then I looked at it for about a month trying to figure out how to find the last image to give the sense of I really wanted it to have a feel of vulnerability and floating. and um, So it, it was just sort of happenstance. He had given me this feather that he found when he was camping. I don't know what kind of bird it was, so I rolled up the feather. First I did a proof. This one I did lots of different colors, yellow, red, and blue, and then this one is silver. And so I created this effect, at least to me, it's like, like flapping wings or a heart a beating heart or something like that. So, so that's the story behind that one. I walk with Cisco up in the hills and then I collect all this junk. And I used to collect it for my collages and then, and then I, I had more and more junk and I started thinking, well, I should try rolling this through a press. And so that's how it turned into this stuff. But now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm past the junk. Now I want to do is incorporate some of this junk onto the Japanese rice paper and then do it with the encaustic prints. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So, <laughs> so that's really my favorite one. And this one I, I have, um, I'm fond of too because to me it feels like it has a lot of energy and a uh, very deep perspective and actually that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make things look like they were really coming forward by putting the blue in the back and the red coming forward. And what this is is I got this idea that if I bought old breadboards they would be great to print on because they already have all this carving in them. So somebody already did the work for me. Thank you very much. So I got this on eBay. This is from England. Rolled it up in blue. So there it is. There's the breadboard. And then um, that's a piece of a record, and that's part of a, a decking um, support. And then I wanted to have sort of a spoosh, a, like a splash of something. So I took those rings. And what I did was sort of like uh, throwing the I Ching. I just kept throwing the rings down with my eyes closed until, um, until it, I got that little burst that I was looking for. And then I um, put a little dot of pencil where each one fell and printed it that way. So that's how it got that kind of energy. Oh, so, you know, I w when I was a kid, I thought I wanted to be either a, an artist, a private eye, or a brain surgeon, like when I was five. <laughs> so <laughs> the one that the one that was the easiest access was the artist. So I dumped the detective. <laughs> in the brain. Oh, I can't believe it. But anyway, so I think that I have sort of a technical side. Maybe that comes from the brain surgeon idea. I like I like process, and um, so. It just it just suits me the detail and the and the method and the um, the effects you can get from printmaking. I don't really think you can get from any other medium, so that's why I like the printmaking. <laughs>